In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the forces acting on a diving board. The question reads, a 500 Newton diver is on the end of a 4.0 meter diving board of negligible mass. The board is on a pedestal, as shown below. What are the forces that each pedestal exerts on the diving board? All right, so this one's interesting because we have a diver whose weight is written in Newtons. Remember, to find weight is the same way you would find the force. They're exerting 500 Newtons at the end of the diving board. And as this diving board compresses downwards, it will exert a force on B. In fact, B will be compressing, so it's acting against the diver. On the other hand, pedestal A will go up. Think of it as a cord. It will start to go upwards, and this will create a tension because it is connected to the base. So the tension will go in the opposite direction. For this reason, just by looking at this image and using a little bit of logic, the force at pedestal A and the end of the diving board will be going downwards. Whereas at B, since it's being compressed, will be going in the opposite direction. Now when it comes to equilibrium problems, the X and Y components for the forces all sum up to zero. And we're not dealing with any X components here. Everything is going up or down. So we're only looking at the Y components and all of them should sum up to zero if we want this at equilibrium. So let's call this force F1, that FB, and that FA. F1 plus FA plus FB should all sum up to zero. At this point, it would be appropriate to say that upwards is positive and downwards is negative. So what I will do is make this force negative and this force also negative because they are the ones that are going down. And if I rearrange and substitute 500 in for F1, I get negative 500 minus FA plus FB and solving for FB, I bring both of these terms over and I get FB is equal to 500 plus FA. And remember what we're looking for, we're looking for this force and that force. With that being said, how do we find FA and FB? In order to be successful with this problem, we have to also consider torque. So torque, the magnitude of torque, which I'm representing by T, or you can represent it by the Greek letter tau, the magnitude is equal to the radius times the force times sine theta. And because we're only going in the y direction, sine theta, or the angle theta, is 90. And sine at 90 degrees is 1. So torque is calculated by taking the radius times the force. At equilibrium, the sum of all torques equals to 0 as well. So we will take into account torque to help us find out the forces. Since we've made this into a torque problem, we have to consider one of these points, either A or B, as a rotation point for the system. I'm going to consider A as the rotation point. Depending on what you consider as the rotation point, the equations that you come up with next will differ. So if I use A as my rotation point, and knowing that the diver will go down, what this is doing is it's producing a clockwise torque. So think of it going like this. And on the other hand, at B, since it's being compressed, it will be going counterclockwise. Remember, all of these torques should be summed up. So I'll calculate the torque at this part, at F1. The torque there has a radius of 4 times the force is 500. And the torque at B will have a radius of 1.5. And we don't know the force, so I'll continue to call it F sub B. Since they're acting in opposite directions, and we're going to be adding these, I'll write down 2,000, because 4 times 500 is 2,000, minus 1.5 F sub B. I made this minus 1.5, because it's acting in the opposite direction, and this should sum up to 0. So I'll solve for F sub B, 2,000 is equal to 1.5 F sub B, and dividing both sides by 1.5, let's see what happens. We get a force 
that is 1,333 decimal three. I'll just leave it as 1,333 newtons. And from here, we can find out the force at F sub A by taking that value, throwing it into there, and bringing the 500 over. So I'll subtract 500 from that, and we get a force of 833.3 acting right there. And there you have it. That is how to find the forces acting on a diving board.